this game. The Canadians get into the attacking zone. Weber with his first slap shot, and it's a changeup. Anderson had to make a save. Radulov in front, they score. Max Pacioretty, 20 seconds in, 1 0 Montreal. Couldn't have drawn up a better play there if you're the Montreal Canadiens jumping on a team that played last night. This all starts though with Radulov. Radulov does a bump back play against Nazem Kadri. Kadri, you mentioned he has the assignment always against the top team, but right here, look at the quick bounce back there, knocked him right on his rear end, and then from behind, Pacioretty finds that little scene. Zaitsev has him for a second. The rebound was there, and Radulov, as he's found, Pacioretty so often lately, just perfect pass and right underneath the arm of Frederick Anderson. Petrie gathers in the puck. Ian Beaulieu playing against the Matthews line. It could be a two-on-one here. Arturi Lekkinen with his shot. Scores! Lekkinen off the right wing with a trickler that got by Anderson. It's 2-0 Montreal. Well, after a good couple of bounce-back shifts in the offensive zone, just a little bit of an aggressive play here. Petrie with the play up. You can see Gardner gets caught on the pinch there, and... Brown trying to come back. Carrick got his man in the middle, and that's two goals in a row underneath the arm of Anderson. Just a quick shot, maybe even a stick of Brown. You see the frustration of Brown. Does his stick get in there? Maybe a bit, but it's right underneath that elbow. Very similar to the Pacioretty goal that slipped through Anderson. And, Jim, you can see by the goaltender's reaction right away, he thought he might have had it for a second, squeezed hard, but that one just trickled over the goal line. As you mentioned, it's always seemingly on the road. This is a big time, though, to come up with a momentum-changing goal. Marner to Van Riemsdyk, get back in front. What a goal! Tyler Bozak set up by Mitch Marner, and the Leafs are right back in the game. And Jim, right on cue, look at this. Building's alive again, and... This starts in the neutral zone. A real sense of purpose on this breakout through the zone. Drive the net, bump back pass, and no chance. One way to beat Carey Price. Don't give him an opportunity to get his body. He's following that puck across to Marner, who's going left to right. The touch pass perfectly placed right to Bozak. And he gets a wide open half a net there that he puts it past Carey Price. What a play. Kadri gains the attacking line. Zaitsev gave him the puck back. He to Zaitsev on the other side. Marner in the middle. Shoots. Price the save. They score. Kadri on the rebound. Jim, another thing is they've been outmanning their opponents at the net. And you could look at the last four or five goals by Nazem Kadri and so often on the power play he's coming into the screen they move the puck well they go side to side down low and there's two Maple Leafs on either side of the net if the rebound comes to the left you've got Bozak there it came to the right and you've got Kadri who knocks another one in a tough rebound to control for Carey Price and look at Kadri just focused on getting that puck up and over Carey Price as opposed to just pounding it Recent games, especially without Markov. And Petrie again snaps a shot right in front again. This time they don't miss. Nikita Sherbach with his first National Hockey League goal. What a moment for your first National Hockey League game, your first period, and your first goal. But Petrie with that rush, you mentioned, Jim, the puck's there, and Lekkonen thought he had a wide open net, couldn't put it past, but how about Sherback in Saskatoon? He had the rookie lead in goals, 28 of them, rookie lead in points, 78, and here showing those hands down low, and there's a moment that he'll never forget right from the ref camp. Just a shot that got deflected in front. Tough break as it went off the lead defenseman, and uh, Johnny on the spot with some good hands beat Anderson there. They came right after him. Hyman skated right towards him. Nathan Beaulieu into the middle. This Irish shot. In comes Weber. Backhander. He couldn't get it to the net. That was stopped. Radulov scores on the second chance. And just like Toronto, Montreal has scored a pair on the power play, and the Canadians have a two-goal lead again.
Well, it's Radulov who finishes it, but Jim, it's Radulov who starts it. The draw was won by the Maple Leafs, Komarov, but look at the quick jump there by Radulov. Lifts the stick to Polak. Great puck movement side to side. McCarron, that big body, six foot five in front of Anderson. Anderson has no idea where the puck is there, but how about the play of Shea Weber? Weber on his backhand gets it to the front of the net. And as Anderson's trying to gather himself, we can see Anderson had no chance of seeing where that puck was. Komarov left the front of the net, and it's Radulov by himself who finds the back of it. Number 10 for Radulov. What a start of the game for Radulov. Every time he's been on the ice and touched the puck, he's made something happen. Van Hunwick holds the puck in for Toronto. Drops it off to Morgan Riley on the other side. Van Riemsdyk shoots. Price stopped him and wasn't sure where the puck was. Thought it might have leaked through, but he made a big save on James Van Riemsdyk coming off the leap bench. Four on four hockey and a change. Van Riemsdyk undetected off the bench, but stopped by Carey Price. Get by Morgan Riley. Deneau followed him though in support and has the puck looking out front. Centering pass off the goaltender. Backhanded to the net and Anderson made a good save. Just buying some patience. The puck's right there on the doorstep for Pacioretty. Turns and fed the puck in front. Mitch Marner. Leafs are starting to pick it up again. Marner drives wide in front. They score. James Van Riemsdyk. And it's a one goal. show an example of how to use your feet as a weapon here's just a picture perfect example of it watch Marner keeps his legs moving gets a little bit of separation and then as soon as Carey Price bites Price goes down on one knee you have to respect the shot of Marner watch as soon as he goes down inside on James Van Riemsdyk who reads it perfectly stick on the ice he's got position on Barbario and once again no chance at all for Carey Price there he is again, but he couldn't control the puck. Michael McCarron straight up the middle. Marner came back and stripped him of the puck. McCarron goes in deep. To the net, scores! Through the puck in front, off Anderson and into the back of the net, and the Canadians have their third two-goal lead of the game. Boy, the eyes of Anderson said it all there, didn't they? He knows that's one that he just can't afford to let in. McCarron bobbles the puck in. Just regains it down low and never a bad play. Throw it to the net, but you can see the positioning of Anderson. His legs were staggered. His left pad was out just a little bit in front. He misses it with the stick coming across, and it goes off the inside of his left leg and through the five hole. Sherback in front in position, and there's that little kick out there. You saw his left pad get out in front of his right, and just a terrible feeling pulling that one out of your net. Janice came on and won the draw. They won the loss, though, and Price had to make a great save off Tyler Bozak as Van Riemsdyk stole the puck. Gardner to Carrick. Back to the net. Price again knocked it down. What a save there off Van Riemsdyk. Two great chances. One uh, great save by Price. Comes back to the front of the net. Bozak had the early chance. Good puck movement. Traffic in front of Price. Able to find that one as Van Riemsdyk couldn't get it quite high enough.